levels of satanic influences very powerful truth you're about to learn there are three levels of satanic influences over the saints as revealed from scripture three levels principally number one are you ready number one is called witchcraft the first level of satanic influence over the saints is called witchcraft galatians chapter 3 please and verse 1 let's hurry up for sake of time galatians 3 verse 1 all foolish galatians he says who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes jesus had been seen evidently set forth crucified among you now please look up the bible's idea of witchcraft is not drinking blood and eating flesh those are just extended meanings the bible's idea of witchcraft is not going to a coven in the night and having a meeting I'm not negating those things but I'm telling you that the standard definition of witchcraft from the Bible has nothing to do with any of these things witchcraft according to Bible definition is anything that can cause you to err using the tool of deception that is witchcraft causing a man to err causing a man to go out of alignment using the tool of deception is the bible's definition of witchcraft the first way that satan influences men is through witchcraft that means he uses the tool of deception to cause you to err ephesians chapter 5 and verse 6 ephesians chapter 5 and verse 6 let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things cometh the wrath of god upon the children of disobedience notice every time there is witchcraft you see that there is deviation from the truth there is disobedience in it what is witchcraft i wrote here to cause you to think to act and to talk in error using the tool of deception what is witchcraft again to cause you to think to cause you to act and to cause you to talk in error using the tool of deception second peter chapter 2 we'll read from verse 1 and 2 second peter chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 very quickly but there are false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction last verse verse 2 and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of the truth shall be evil spoken of this is the character of witchcraft the practice of witchcraft does not have to do with some crude african type activity even though there is an expression of it like that but principally engaging the tool of deception to cause you to think to act and to speak in ways that are inconsistent with god's ways is witchcraft so the first demonic influence that satan has over men if allowed is witchcraft number two are you ready the second is called manipulation and control of your mind manipulation and control of your mind please start that one because this is where even when you are saved i'm going to be answering the question whether the christians can be possessed or not manipulation and control of your mind this one is principally in the realm of the mind 
your mind containing your will your emotions and your intellect matthew chapter 16 from verse 22 and 23 matthew 16 22 and 23 remember the discussion between jesus and peter jesus was talking about his dying and the bible says peter took him who took him peter one of the chief disciples of jesus he took him and began to rebuke him saying be it far from thee lord this shall not happen to you 23 but he turned he being jesus and said unto peter get thee behind me satan thou art an offense unto me for thou severest not the things that be of god and those that be of men you want to find the account that he said satan has desired to sift you go to luke 22 we'll read 31 and 32 synoptic account same message the lord said luke 22 31 and 32 the lord said simon simon behold satan had desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat 32 but i have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren satan came to manipulate the compassion like i've taught you of peter to stop jesus from dying jesus was talking about his death and to peter he did not know this was a man who it was not longer i mean that he had said i know who thou art thou art the christ the son of the living god next moment jesus is telling him get thee behind me satan number three the third level of satanic influence the third level of satanic influence over the saints is called possession or over men really possession this talks of complete influence and control of your spirit mind and body possession complete influence and control of your spirit your mind and your body demons can use satan can use witchcraft next level manipulation and control of your mind third level complete possession influence and control of your spirit your mind your mental faculties and your body mark chapter 5 Mark chapter 5. And they came over to the other side of the sea into the country of the gatherings. Let's follow closely now. He's teaching us that it is possible for demons to completely possess a man. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tomb are you seeing the character of that man now and no man could bind him unusual power no not with chains verse 4 because that when he had often when he had been often bound with fetters and chains the chains had been plucked asunder by him can a normal man easily do that you see that now and the fetters broken in pieces neither could any man tame him and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs doing what crying and cutting himself with stones this is the standard character of demonic possession that this man is hurting himself with stones and yet he cannot stop because his spirit his mental faculties and sadly his body is under total control and influence of such a spirit when jesus saw when he saw jesus afar off we're about to learn some lessons now he ran and worshiped him i ask you again does satan know that jesus is lord he's about to negotiate a deal because when he saw jesus he knew that means every time demons see people who understand their authority they know he saw jesus and he knew 
and he came and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said what have i to do with thee jesus thou son of the most high look at that kind of intelligence i adjure thee by god that thou torment me not do you know what this means i use the father's authority that you submit to to plead with you i know you are obedient to the father and remember he is kind and he's loving don't torment us look at satan for jesus had said come out of the man thou unclean spirit now i love jesus and he asked him what is your name and the man answered saying my name is legion for we are many and he besought him much that he should not send them away from the country are you seeing now territorial construct of these spirits that means okay since we are going to leave the man it looks like that negotiation is not working please do us a favor can you command that we just come out of him and look for someone within the territory because based on our structure this is our territory verse 11 now there was nigh unto the mountain a great herd of swine feeding and the devils besought him and said i will teach you why demons want bodies send us into the swine that we may enter into them do you know what lesson hold on please go back go back go back to verse 12. how many of you know that gadara had so many human beings and yet the demons are begging it took us a long time to prepare this body to host us i thought they would leave and just enter anybody satan does not have that kind of power to just enter anyhow it takes a lot there are processes he's telling them that even though there are men as it is right now the urgency of wanting a body when are we going to meet a man deceive him manipulate him until we gain entrance let us go to peaks why will satan have men scattered in the in the decapolis and yet look for one man because there are rules of engagement i told you even jesus knocks to enter your life so when you see it look like satan can just get into any life anyhow it is a lie from adam and eve and from this madman the demons are pleading we want to leave but there are rules of engagement we are not just going to enter anybody and remember these guys that he's afraid of entering are not born again because jesus had not died and yet he still could not enter them send us to peaks that we may enter into them 13 and forthwith jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine and the herd ran violently down the steep can you see that exactly what was happening to the man before was now happening to the pigs so it was not the bodies it was the influences that was behind it are we together now the bible says they ran down to a steep place there were about two thousand look at how that man was suffering what came out from him entered two thousand pigs and all of them could not control themselves yet one man was carrying that imagine the pain that that man was going through let's finish we're reading to 16 14 now verse 14 and they that fed the swine and they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country and they went out to see what was that that was done verse 15 and when they come to jesus they see that the man who was possessed with the devil and had a legion they saw him sitting and clothed and in his right mind we discussed that last week that immediately after the deliverance you thought the man would go away but the next thing that happened after deliverance was that he was with jesus he did not leave jesus next week we'll be looking at the three levels of deliverance that number one the spirit influences were cast number two he was with jesus he remained with jesus and he sat down there and his remaining with jesus was doing something to his mind his right mind 
and they were afraid last verse and they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil and also concerning the swine now can a christian be possessed with demons the answer is no a christian cannot be possessed with demons the reason is because of the very character of the administration of eternal life that eternal life demands that you are joined to christ and the bible says he that is joined to christ is one spirit but this is the balance just because a christian cannot be possessed does not mean satan does not have an activity that a believer can be a victim of the first two that i listed witchcraft and manipulation and control it does not matter how born again that believer is the cure for witchcraft and the cure for manipulation and control is not just being born again it's putting on the whole armor of god i will teach you that one are you seeing now there are many many believers that are saved and yet will be victims of this why ephesians 4 18 having their understanding darkened not having their salvation lost having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart a christian cannot be possessed but he can be demonized manipulated and controlled at the solical realm absolutely here is where we need to balance in the body of christ and most of you know that i love the body of christ i'm sent to the body of christ but let us not give the devil the authorization to prey on our ignorance satan came to jesus holy jesus righteous jesus blameless jesus he came to him spoke with him it took it is written it did not take jesus being the word to be saved it didn't take jesus being born of the word to be saved from that deception it took him having knowledge and replying back it is written and get thee behind me two things that saved jesus it is written and get thee behind me understanding of scripture and understanding of authority are we learning now so the whole idea that just because you are saved automatically satan has nothing to do with your life it's a lie it's not true i can tell you by the authority of scripture it is not true the disciples the apostles they continue to tell you how that satan would come and attempt to challenge them challenge their minds challenge their body and they continue to stand with the operation of the word of god when jesus entered the temple and preached and rebuked spirits the people did not show any evidence that they had any spirit at work in them it was when he gave the command hallelujah three levels of satanic influences witchcraft through deception manipulation and control largely in the realm of your mind and then complete possession influencing your spirit influencing your mind and influencing your body